Well, David, we're pleased to have you here. How did this move come about? Um, I think it's you know a mixture of things. I think it's uh, for me personally, I hadn't hadn't played too many games last season, um, and I sort of wanted to to get back into swinging things and, and get some get some games and be involved in you know competitive football again. Um, and it just so happened that it was it's, it was a good fit fit to come here. A season long loan it is, so it will give you a lot of potential game time. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and it's. Uh, you know that's it's a good thing that it's not not a short stint because then I can I can really feel feel part of the the squad and uh, you know feel part of the push push for promotion. Now you're no stranger to Fratton Park. You're no stranger to scoring goals either in the Fratton end or the Milton end. Yeah. Do you remember them well? Yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah. I always always enjoyed coming here because when in League Two it was always one of the bigger grounds and and better atmospheres. So yeah, it was always it was always nice to play there and. Uh, yeah, it's you know two of my probably my better goals in my career to be honest. So they they were two well, two wins for Exeter at Fratton Park as well. The second, the year we went up as champions. Yeah, yeah, I think it was uh, off the back of about a thirty percent possession, but um, you'll still to still take it. Do you remember anything about the goal, the, the goal at the Fratton end, for instance? Do you remember that yeah. coming about? Yeah, yeah, it was just I think I was um, I was playing up front on my own and I I just nick nick the ball back in. In midfield and and just just burst burst past the centre whoever was the centre half at the time and just hit it back across goal. And the other one at the Milton end. Yeah. In yeah. a different game. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. No, that was. I think the ball just sort of spilled loose and I just hit it first time across the goal. Yeah. Give us the mindset then of an opposing player that comes to Fratton Park. What, what do you set out to do at the start of a game? Do you want to silence the crowd? Do you have to be big and stand up? I think every both times we we approached it we we said we'll we'll stay compact and allow allow them to to dominate the ball and and spread out and then if we get our chances we counter attack straight through the middle um, and you know fortunately that that worked that worked a couple of times and and obviously if you if you allow if you allow the team to keep the ball for long spells then that occasionally you're gonna you're gonna force mistakes whether it be you know, people trying to switch the ball and hitting it off, off the pitch and stuff. And, and like you say, that can, that can unsettle the crowd a little bit. Now, your final season at Exeter, you scored 20 goals in all competitions. So you've got an eye for goal. Yeah, yeah, that was, that was you know, certainly my best, my best goal scoring year. I think, you know, it's one of those things for me coming, coming from being a wide, wide forward, coming, coming in off the line and, and getting it at the back post and stuff, and 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 you know anticipating where the ball's going to land is is you know probably one of my best my best assets. So. But obviously, it's not all about scoring goals, and assists would come quite early up as well. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. It's um, you, you know, for for me, it was never about necessarily you know looking for goals all the time. It was you know if if the opportunity arise, then then you do best to take it. But like you say, it's also about laying on for for people when it's it's the right time to do you class yourself as an out and out winger um i i've played in in different different ways as you know always always wide but in terms of you know i've played as a, a, a full, more of a forward and more as a conventional right midfielder so or left midfielder so yeah it's and played up front on my own so um yeah i think sort of any sort of forward position i'm i'm happy to play in so you told about the move to Pompey. How long does it take you to weigh that up and say yes, that's for me? Not long at all, to be honest. Yeah, it was uh, it, it, over the last sort of six weeks or so. It was it was looking like that, and you know, loan might be a, a decent possibility. And um, you know, coming to, to to Pompey was a no-brainer for me because you know the, the size of the club and the the, the support that it gets, and uh, and you know, the prestige is 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 so high. Um, and so, yeah, for me, it, was, it wasn't a particularly difficult decision. Why do you think things stagnated at Queen's Park Rangers like they did last season? Um, I, think, I think it was difficult. We had, we had quite, a, quite a big squad. And so there was, you know, a fair few changes here and there. Um, and I think, yeah, it's just when you have such a big squad, it's sometimes difficult to gel, I think. So, um, but the, the, the championships, you know, such a such a competitive and erratic league you know teams that finish near the near the top one one year finish near the bottom the next year just 
you know, Reading, for example, like Huddersfield, like one year they finish near the relegation zone, the next is pr near promotion. So, because mm -hmm. Exeter were all a, always a club that, that were there or thereabouts in the times you played Pompey, but you always felt they were punching above their weight. Do you get the opposite feeling with Pompey? Um, yeah, well, yeah, to a large degree, I think, because there is that that history there where where Pompey have been been right to the top. Um, and you know they're, they're generally favourites in, in in most most leagues that they're in. Like you know, not obviously not necessarily when they were in the Premier League, but they they certainly were f you know favoured like mo you know most most of the time. Um, whereas you know Exeter have been in the Conference, and it's a it's a generally sort of s smaller club. So um, yeah, I'd say and you know financially as well, it's it's it's, it's one of those things where you. You are, like, I guess, seen as someone that's punching above their weight. Well, your last goal in the Fratton end was met by a deafening silence. Yeah. The next one you're probably looking forward to more because you're yeah, there sure. a massive role. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. No, I, ca I can't wait. I can't wait. Hopefully, uh, comes uh, comes you know soon and and frequent. Well, we look forward to it. Thank yeah. you. Cheers.